Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the second installment of our patio makeover. If you missed part one, I will link it down below and kind of share with you the initial plans, show you some of my Pinterest inspiration, and then I will kind of get you up to speed with this video. So some things have developed, but it doesn't really look very different out here. So today I'm just going to kind of be walking through with you the things that have developed so far, the good things, the challenging things, and the decisions that still have to be made. All right, so if you'll remember, I really wanted this to be a space where we could sit comfortably, which would include some sort of shade. I'd said I wanted to have a dining area. I wanted to use our patio furniture that we already have. Um, and I wanted to create a couple of concealed things for the um, like electrical stuff over there. And then also for this air conditioning unit, kind of something to conceal that. In addition to those things, I said I wanted to figure out some sort of ground covering that made sense, whether it was pavers or pebbles or, you know, mulch, something. It feels so good out here right now. It is, what temperature is it right now? So I don't know if you can hear the breeze, but there is just the most slight gentle breeze and it is 77 degrees and I'm sitting in the shade and I could go to sleep here. It feels so nice. Okay, so I remember whenever we were doing renovations for the house and we would get started on whatever the next project was and I would just feel so overwhelmed because I am an indecisive person and I would just feel like I was drowning in all of the many choices. We would go to pick flooring and then it was, well, I don't know what type of flooring to choose. And then within that, I don't know what, what shade and where do we purchase it? And you know, do we get something to go underneath the flooring? And you know, little by little, you start process of elimination and you start making small decisions that lead to other decisions. So I know, that the right things will come to fruition in this space but i am very much in that spot of overwhelm and indecision right now so i guess the first thing to talk about would be what's behind me which is this cushion so i had been looking for cushions secondhand several of you had mentioned to me marketplace and i know that can be a good place to find cushions the difficulty is finding as many cushions as we would need for this set we would end up needing two sets for the love seat so two seats and then two back pillows and then we've got a chair over there and then a chair here so again two more seats two more back pillows for a total of four sets of cushions so i found a set they were fifty dollars and it actually came with five sets i thought this will be perfect we'll have four and then i'll keep one for just in case one gets messed up this will be great uh, I drove to pick them up. It was probably like a 45 minute drive, one way to pick them up, and they were not what I thought they would be. I arrived and they were on the porch of the place where I was going to pick them up, and I could immediately tell that they were not an outdoor, weather resistant, sunbrella type fabric. Uh, I do think they would be fine for like a covered patio or a screen porch, but this is not that. And I should have just walked away empty handed. Um, but there wasn't somebody there that I could talk to. And I felt like I was locked in because I had made this appointment to go get them. I absolutely wasn't. I know better. But I thought, well, I've driven all this way. I'll, I'll just go ahead and pick them up. And I was on the phone at the time. And so I, there was just a lot going on. Um, hindsight is twenty twenty. I should have stopped my phone call or finished my phone call, gotten out of the car, really examined them and given it some thought. But I, I didn't. I just picked them up and brought them home. So now I am stuck with cushions that if I keep them, of course I'll scotch guard them, but they absolutely cannot sit out in the rain. And so it's just going to be a lot of maintenance to move them in and out and in and out. And they have been sitting in our house ever since I bought them. And we don't really have a space to sit five sets of cushions just in our kitchen so yeah it's kind of uh, kind of a poor situation because now I have cushions now I've spent money on cushions um, but they're not really what I want another development is that as we talked about it more and more and looked at the space Brandon said you know I think we really just need to do our patio furniture and a coffee table and not try to do a table and chairs 
Um, so for now, that's the goal. We are just gonna have patio furniture and a coffee table. But now that we have the cushions, I'm wondering if I should just sell all of this and take what I can and then buy a full set off of Marketplace that does have outdoor cushions. It's crazy, as you look in this market, by the time you buy good outdoor cushions, even used, you could just buy a whole new set used a lot of times. Oftentimes, what I have found is that the cushions are almost worth more than the actual furniture. So that's the, the complicated, silly story with the cushions. The other thing that I have to figure out that I, I thought I would have an answer for by now and I still don't are the trees. Um, and even as I sit here, I'm still really conflicted. So we have behind me one and then we have two in front of me um holly bushes trees whatever whatever you call them i guess they were intended to be holly bushes and they have grown into trees that are quite tall and it's one of those things that it's not just a simple answer um if you keep the trees and do some sort of ground covering around them and then you decide to take the trees out then you have a large hole among your your pavers or your whatever it is that you're using obviously something like pavers or stamped concrete would be much easier to maintain in this area but it's not as forgiving as far as the trees like some of these trees have some really substantial roots let me show you the one behind me so if we were trying to do stamped concrete or pavers and we wanted to do it the right way and level everything out and have a good foundation, we absolutely couldn't do that with the roots. Um, and then there's also the bit of how annoying are the leaves gonna be when they fall. But then on the other side of that, you know, I'm sitting very comfortably here. Now where the love seat is, is not currently in the shade whenever it's the time of day that it is. It's, it's one o'clock right now, uh, so so the sun is high in the sky and there's not shade directly over the love seat. Um, but the trees are keeping the, now the sun's kind of gone for a minute, but the trees are kind of keeping the chairs from direct sun exposure. So then you think maybe I'll cut the trees down, but then you don't want to make a bad decision and you can't just grow trees back. You know, it has taken years and years to get them to this point. I don't know, as I'm processing it, what it feels like to me is that we need to live with this space for a summer and make that decision. That, that feels like it's going to be the wisest to me. It's not going to be the most um, pretty after picture. And it's definitely going to be more of a an in-progress patio versus this is our completely finished patio and this is the way it's going to be for the next, you know, however long. But I feel like in life a lot of times where I have really seen that I need to just stop and just take a pause is if I don't have a definite feeling one way or the other, then that means I don't need to make a move yet. I had a situation last year, very different type of situation, but I could choose one of two paths and I just didn't have a clear direction. And I prayed about it and I still didn't have a clear direction. And I said, I think that means that I'm just supposed to stay still. And so I did, I stayed put until there was a very clear, now you are supposed to move. Now you are supposed to follow this decision and this is the path that you go on. And it was very clear, I felt peace about it. So I think this is gonna be one of those scenarios where I think maybe whatever we do as far as ground covering needs to be something a little more temporary. And we need to live with it a year and decide, are the leaves annoying, are the roots annoying? And if so, how many of the trees are we gonna take out? Are we gonna take out all of them? And then are we gonna to try to do some shade alternative? My skin is not sun-loving skin, so I seek shade when at all possible. So if this is a place that we are going to be hanging out and trying to be in, um, I would like for there to be a shade option at least. 
two positive things though. Uh, I had two people reach out to me after watching part one of my video and offer me some things that they were gonna be getting rid of. So I had a cousin reach out to me and say that she had two or three sets of patio string lights that she was just gonna donate. They've just been sitting around and she was gonna use them and then now she's not and she was gonna donate them. So she is gonna be sending those to me. And then I had a friend reach out after watching my video and she said, would you like our outdoor coffee table? She said they'd been thinking of getting rid of it anyway, and so we will be able to add a coffee table and lights for no cost for this project, which is just, just an incredible blessing, and I'm just so thankful for people who love us well. So I can check those two things off the list, regardless of the fact that the furniture is still a question mark and the flooring is still like five question marks. So yeah, I was really hoping that I would have more to show you and more done, but I don't know. Maybe this will be encouraging that sometimes this is just the reality of things that you thought that you were going to progress further and then some very real things happen that really require your attention and more thought. One thought that I have is that my parents have access to huge piles of wood mulch. There was a tree company that came through and did a lot of tree work. And so my parents just have these piles of wood mulch on their property. So I have access to that and I could, for a temporary solution, kill all of these weeds or vines and spread the mulch and then use what existing pavers we have just to create a little area here in the middle. My main hesitation with the mulch is will that attract termites? And so if you have any experience with that or any knowledge to that, you know, you can leave that in the comments down below. But I just thought that would be something that would be free and would be relatively low maintenance and would be forgiving around the roots and we could still have something that looks nice and we could still have a path and then something to rise the furniture up off of by using those pavers that we already have and then we could just kind of give it a year and live with it like that and you know move forward obviously with the leaves we couldn't really like blow the leaves off because then it would also just blow the mulch off so the leaves would just have to eventually become part of the mulch. So yeah, that's that's a possibility, but then also maybe not, I don't know. So that's where we stand. I don't feel discouraged. I just feel, you know, not a lot of clear direction with it yet. So we're just kind of hanging out. I'm sitting on these non-waterproof cushions and that's the current situation. Also, as I'm watching two different buzzing stinging things flying around we went to a friend's house yesterday and we sat out on their screened-in porch and it was so nice and i know that battling pollen in the beginning of the season can be an issue with screened-in porches but i sat there and i thought hmm this would this would cost more but this would be such a nice option and it would get us away from the gnats and it would keep all the stinging things that i'm scared of outside so yeah that's just some more food for thought but for now, this is where things are, and I will catch back up with you whenever I have another update. All right, you guys, thank you so much, as always, for stopping by Yard Sale Squad. If you like this video, I will have some more linked down below and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.